I'm out. I don't really know how I want to start this video. I don't know if I want to do this start or if I want to do like a stand-up introduction type start. Although I am liking this view of the bookcase, the desk, that's fun. This is my library room, which I'm trying to get under control. It's also the quilt fabric room. So currently we have an entire dresser full of quilt fabric and then we have at least the same amount of quilt fabric in like bins like next to the dresser and then also it has my books uh, my red shelf is here and then over there which you can't see but you've seen many times in other videos is my tbr shelf today i want to do an april plan with me and you've seen a couple of plan with me's before i will list them down below so that you can check those out i use a bullet journal and my bullet journal is minimalist simple and what i'm gonna go with saying non-aesthetic it's very just simple written out that was my March booktube content calendar. I originally started a content calendar and blog log for my blog Mad Cat Quilts, which you can always find linked down below along with my other socials. When I first started doing a YouTube content calendar, I just kind of mirrored that one, but that hasn't really been working for me. So over the last few months, I have been modifying and changing my YouTube booktube content calendar. And this month is no different. I want to kind of tweak some things that I've seen in the content calendar and change that around. So although I have done the rest of my setup for April, the majority of it anyway, I left my content calendar blank. So here's my blog content calendar and then two pages for my booktube content calendar. We're gonna do that today. Another thing that I wanted to do, which I think is fun and I really love when Renee Amberg does this, is she maps out her videos for the month and she asks her followers over on Instagram to help her pick out videos. I did that. This is the first notebook I've used for booktube and as you can see, it's pretty much totally full. I always fold down the pages after I'm done using them. I'm going to be moving on to this little guy. All my notebooks are either thrifted or very, very old or both. I never buy new notebooks like this because you can almost always find them in the thrift store or uh, friends have them. A lot of times if you have any friends with kids, I'll also use really, really old ones that are half full and just finish them up and fill them up. It's a great zero waste way to do it. And then my bullet journal is from Cognitive Surplus. I actually just ordered another one of these. They are a small business, really cool. Uh, they use as much like recycled materials as they can and uh, it's just a, it's a good notebook. I think it's great for bullet journaling. I use the dot grid, uh, which I like, but you can get it line, dot grid, grid, etc. We'll link them down below, but you can almost always find them in my bullet journal videos. For the last like 10 days, I've been kind of asking people what kind of videos they want or if they want this or that. And I've been taking pictures of all their responses so that I can write them all down. I'm going to look at that and do this now. And I'm going to drink my tea. And I have some ginger tea and we just got new local honey and it's like so good. I've been eating honey on everything. naturally my camera died but I was able to look up some of the things I asked people what videos they wanted to see um, some people wanted a zero waste recipe some people wanted a plant tour some people wanted book recommendations so I then kind of called their information that they gave me and ask more specific questions. So like for book recommendations, I asked if they wanted me to give them my recommendations or if they wanted specialized recommendations for friends. I asked if they wanted like standard zero waste swaps for things or if they wanted like a full recipe. I asked if they wanted a garden tour or a plant tour. I asked what 
tag people might like if they would prefer a spoiler tag or the um, nursery rhyme tag that's going around and a few other things. So I've written those down just the ideas but I'm not going to tell you which thing that people pick because I don't want to give all my videos away obviously. There's also all the videos that I normally do like a TBR ASMR and a monthly wrap up so those will be included as well. I usually do three videos a week so I have 13 videos that I could potentially do for just my standard and then sometimes I'll throw in like an extra video for the month. So for April there are 13 videos. So I wrote down 12 videos called either from things that I always do or from what I ask my Instagram followers and I have them just listed out here. And then I'm going to go ahead and make my layout for April and I'm going to add in some of the video ideas. Let me know how do you set up your monthly videos? How do you decide what you're going to put? Do you plan out a full month? Do you plan out more than a month? Do you use a bullet journal or Notion or a calendar? Do you know when not only when your video is going to go up, but when you're going to film. I would love to hear like kind of all your video planning and how that works. Like I usually do it the last couple of weeks of the previous month for the next month. And then I have like a running list of what I might want to do for the next month. And if you have a plan with me like this, definitely link it down below. So in my other plan with me's, you can see that my layouts are all very much the same. They're minimalist, they're simple. I simply start by writing the title of the page at the top and then fill in the dates uh, for this content calendar, so the entire month of April. I'll also put the previous month so I can look back without actually physically looking back when I'm creating my content calendar. These three columns are the new aspects, so that is a checkoff sheet for the days that I film the days that I edit, and the days that I post to Instagram. Here I'm writing out my uh, regular content, so this is just a list of the regular posts that I might put. I will fill out some of the next month so that I can add that in, and then I also have my filming schedule, so I'll write down what I film and I will check off the boxes to make sure that everything is ready for posting. I Decided to write down the readathon that I am participating in this month on the corner here. Usually I will just put my ideas, but I wanted to have it fresh in my mind so I could think about the content as I made it. I label the days that I'm planning on posting. Usually I try to stick to a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday schedule, but that doesn't always happen. I filled in a few of the videos that I'm going to make, and that's my layout. That was my planning for April's content calendar for my booktube. You might have noticed that I put a plan with me down at the bottom of my April calendar. I will be getting a new book in April, so I do plan on doing my like full bullet journal setup. If you have a specific plan with me that you would like to see, let me know. If there's something in there that you would like to know about, definitely leave me a comment down below. If there are any other plan with me's that you're interested in or any other ways about how I organize or film, let me know about that as well. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.